Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of the U.S. and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. May you please remain standing for a moment of silence. You now be, be seated. Good morning, Don and Noy. I'm John the Church. And I'm Leslie Villela. And these are morning announcements. Good luck to our Chiefs and Lady Chiefs who will be competing today in tennis against at Couch Elsa. Also, good luck to our Lady Chiefs varsity volleyball who will be competing against Brownsville Lopez today. There will be a student council meeting tomorrow during C's and B's at the library. There will also be an FCA meeting, which all staff and students are invited to come tomorrow morning at 7.50 in the library computer lab. Mandatory host a meeting tomorrow, Thursday at 8 a.m. in room CTE 106. Yearbook pages are now for sale for $100 and half a page for $50. Also, we serve your yearbook today for $10 or more. Come by room 8141. Also, if anyone's interested in being a news anchor, also come by Mr. Valeria's room. And also, if anyone's interested in joining the student council, whether 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th, or are interested in running for class president for freshman class, come also by room D219. All applications are due this Friday, September 15th. A message from the Counseling Office and the National Alliance of Mental Illnesses. September is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, a time to share resources on this highly taboo and stigmatized topic. We use this month to reach out to those affected by suicide, raise awareness, and connect individuals with suicide ideation to treat services. Suicide thoughts, much like mental health conditions, can affect anyone regardless of age, gender, or background. In fact, suicide is often the result of an untreated mental health condition. Suicidal thoughts should not be considered normal and often indicate more serious issues. Stop by the counseling office for more information. Also, our national suicide hotline is 